think this is a little bit... Oh, come on. She deserves it. Hannah! What's going on? Where's my sister going? It was just a prank, Han. No! Shut up! First off, I gotta say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. I really want to spend some quality time with each and every one of you and um, just share some moments that we'll never forget for, for the sake of my sisters. I need to go find Sam. Whoa, hello. Somebody's getting a little friendly. So I got moved to the back and next to Josh. That's how we met. Boom. Butterfly effect. Ashley was looking pretty hot today, right? She's like a sleeper hit kind of gal, you know? Now I just want to rip that parka right off of her and make some snow angels, right? Hey, cut it out, man. Yeah, I mean, if you're not gonna bang her, maybe Michael take up the case. Wait, will you back off already? Relax. Just checking to see if there's some blood flowing down there. Yeah. Listen, dude, look around you. Look at these beautiful mountains. Do you see any parents? I mean, can you imagine a more perfect, ripe scenario just dripping with erotic possibilities? You and Ashley alone at last. You've laid all the groundwork. You've been a perfect gentleman. Now, you come in for the kill. I don't know, man. How can you not know? But what if it's, like, weird? And what if she... She might not like, want to be friends with me anymore if I try something like that. I mean, weren't you just listening? You got to buck up, bro. Grow up here. <sighs> so, how are we planning on breaking into my parents' lodge, bud? I didn't say I had a plan. You sounded like you had a plan. You better deliver, Cochise, or else you got four lovely ladies who are going to be freezing their buns off. And last time I checked, that's not a good way to get laid. Oh, shoot. Nobody likes cool buns. turn off my GPS. Well, 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 we got ourselves a thinker. Nice one. more attention in climbing class. You mean Jim? Yeah, you know, with the climbing up the rope. Whoa. Did I do that? I, I don't think so. Here, use this.
Whoa, Chris, I just got an awesome idea. Yeah? Totally. What, what is it? Okay, so I'm pretty sure that I've got some deodorant in one of the bathrooms. You could use that with the lighter. I, I don't follow. How's, it, how's a stick of deodorant gonna help? Spray on, it's a can. Oh, yeah, now I gotcha. Flamethrower. Just like we did with the little army dudes. Yep, ones we melted. Just point the spray can in the lighter and whoosh. Bye bye, frozen lock. Bingo. All right, so you got this. I'm gonna go sort something out. You up for hunting around in the dark for a little bit? Nope, but I'll do it. Godspeed, Pilgrim. Driven mad murderers. Huh, that's cool. What was that? This is Sergeant Tate again. It's bad news, I'm afraid. Yeah, we've been through the case files, and there's nothing we can do. He's a free man. We don't have the legal power to restrict his movement. Uh, I know it's not what you wanted to hear, so call me if you want to know more. End of messages. Okay.
the fuck? Ah. Perfect. We're freezing our buns off out here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'll, I'll be here all week. <laughs> ah, crap, that thing freaked me out. What was it? Are you okay? It was like a bear or a tiger or something. Oh, it was just a cute little baby Wolverine. Baby? Don't worry, buddy. You're gonna be a big boy soon. Home sweet home. Sweet is not the word I'd use. Oh my gosh, it's so good to be inside. Even if it's still kind of freezing in here. I'll get a fire going. This place barely looks any different. Yeah, nobody's been up here. Even with all the police coming in and out? N not a lot of action up here lately. Nope. What's up, party people? Hi. Hey. Hey. Hey, man. Make yourself at home, bro. Will do. Oh my god, that is so gross. <laughs> Are you trying to swallow his face whole? Um, I mean, seriously, can she be any more obvious? No one wants in on your territory, honey. Excuse me? Did you say something? Oh, did you not hear me? Was your sluttiness too loud? Sounds like someone's bitter she didn't make the cut. Yeah, it's all a big cattle call with that dream boat. Congrats, you're top cow. That's real deep calling Miss Homecoming a cow. No, shut up, Matt. Stay out of it, you dumb oaf. Hey, watch it. Oh, you're the only one who can put him down? No one else can play with your toys? You're such a bitch. Whatever. I don't give a crap what you think. At least I can think. 4.0, bitch. Honor roll. Suck on that when you're trying to sleep your way into a job. Who needs grades when you've got all the natural advantages you can handle? Oh, please. You couldn't buy a moldy loaf of bread with your skanky ass. <laughs> Are you serious? Do you think that's insulting? That bitch is on crack or something. Emily, stop. This is out of hand. There's no reason to fight like this. Yeah, Em. Why are you picking fights over your ex-boyfriend, huh? Stop it! This is not why we came up here. This is not helping. It's not what I wanted. If we can't get along for 10 minutes, and maybe we need a little bit of a break, right? Mike, why don't you check out the guest cabin, the one I told you about? Yeah, yeah, all right. You wanna go do that? Any place without that whore. It's right up the trail. Glad that's over. Yeah. So, Josh, uh, should we get this fire going? Where's my bag? Huh? My bag, the, the little bag with the pink pattern, the one I got on Rodeo. Matt, are, are you listening? Oh my god, don't you remember? Next to the Italian shoe place where I got the stilettos and you knocked over the rack while you were drooling all over that girl at the counter? Well, I mean, she was asking about my letter jacket. Right, because she gave a shit about your designer letter jacket. Why do you hate my jacket? Matt, I need my bag. Oh my god, Em, you, maybe you just forgot it. Do you seriously think I'd forget my bag? Well, do I... Do you? Guess not. You must have left it down by the cable car station. <sighs> Come on, hon. We'll be back soon. And then we can get warm? We can get very warm. Okay. Okay, let's go. Okay, I'm gonna go take a bath. Exiled. Sexiled. <laughs> Works for me. Oh, bar. How far is this cabin anyway? This cabin is the coziest, most romantic love den you will ever lay your eyes upon. 
If we ever make it. I have a feeling luck's on our side. Play your cards right and maybe you will get lucky. Hey, porn stars. You're gonna need these. Porn star? I'd pay to see it. Uh, gross. Hey, I'm sorry to kick you out like that. No worries, man. Oh, I'm sure you'll find a way to entertain yourselves. Mm-hmm. You have fun with the peanut gallery. <sighs> oh, I almost forgot. Got to fire up the generator so you can see where you're going. It's dark out there. All right. Roger that. I think Josh was flirting with me. Okay. You want to invite him up with us? Wait, really? What? No. Photo booth? All right, read my mind. <sighs> okay. Oh my god. <laughs> this is perfect. We're like the cutest couple. Damn. You should be a model. You keep that camera handy, and maybe I'll let you start my portfolio at the cabin. Wink. Noted. <sighs> Burr, it is freezing out here. Now that's something I can help you with. And how are you gonna do that? Uh, I got a few things in mind. Not a lot of TLC for this place anymore. Kind of a bummer. Emily's as dumb as she looks if she thinks she can cut in on what we got going on. Maybe if we're lucky, she'll try and follow us out here and get eaten by a bear. I think you bring out the worst in her. Is that so? Epic jealousy. Suck it. This thing needs juice or something. Didn't Josh say there was a generator? Mike! Generator! Oh, right. Got it. Sometime after the prospectors and driven mad murderers. All right, let's see. Boom. Nice one, Mikey. Woo! You are a wizard!
Shazam! The gates shall open. Pretty good, right? Yeah, totally. No, that's just awesome. Oh, yeah. I bring the hits. <laughs> Psyched yet? You don't look psyched yet. I am so psyched right now. <laughs> it's like a little adventure, a sexcapade. Wow. At least from Hannah and Beth. I think they'd clean it up. Well. They never closed the investigation. Okay, I'm getting the creeps now. It's all such a blur. I can barely even remember what happened. Well, what I remember is that we played a stupid half-baked prank that probably got Hannah and Beth killed. Hey, I mean, it's not our fault they ran into the woods. Yeah. How could anyone have expected them to do a dumb thing like that? Um, did you hear that? I heard... Something. Yeah. Damn. I don't think we can get up to the cabin with the path block like this. Oh, no way am I going back to the lodge, aka wax museum, to drink hot chocolate with that. <laughs> Jess! Fuck! Hey, Jessica! Yep. Hey! Um, okay! Holy crap, you scared the heck out of me. How do you think I felt? Uh, you didn't hit your head or anything. As far as I can tell, I still have all seven of my limbs. <laughs> uh, yeah. Can you get out? I... Uh, I don't know. I can hardly see anything down here. Alright, coming after you. Just stay put. Handsome, want to help me move this cart thing? Help me move it, help me move it. I imagined us grunting together. This is not what I pictured. <laughs> Not the good kind of willies. Can I offer you a little comfort and reassurance? <laughs> we'll save it for the cabin, Buster. This is like historical. 
Holy bat cave. It's gotta be Native American, right? I don't think the miners were getting their arts and crafts on, no. <laughs> no, no, it's like a shrine or something. A shrine to what? Fixer rubber. Josh said cabin, I felt like Abe Lincoln. <laughs> Where do you see the Lincoln bedroom? Oh, are you planning on getting presidential on me? Yeah. Take a ride on Air Force One. <laughs> all right, all right. Save it for the stump speech, buddy. Oh, a telescope. Gonna look at the trees, gonna look at the clouds, gonna look at the cabin. Um, whoa. I just saw someone at the cabin. Okay. <laughs> Let me see. Sampling the old eggnog again, babe? It's just us up here. Uh, maybe. Sees are gross! Like diseases and shit!
damn it, Josh. Then you have at least cleared out the path before sending us up here. <laughs> really? What? I didn't figure you for the glass half empty type. You got a better idea? Stand back, Debbie Downer. <laughs> oh, boo! Show off. Hey, Mike. You've got something on your face. Ah! Boo! Okay. Okay. That's how it's gonna be. Yes? Yes! Sammy! What? You wanna help me get this fire going? Uh, well, I was just getting into the bath. Oh. Oh, do you need any help with that? Hardy R. Come on. All right, Josh, let's see if you know how to hook up the hot water in your big fancy lodge. Mike.
totally. Woohoo! Let's go, Josh. Let's go. All right, peanut gallery. You know what? I got an idea for you two. What? Okay. Well, I'm pretty sure that somewhere in this crazy place we used to have a spirit board. A what? Wow, you have a spirit board? <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're fun, right? Those things are a joke, man. They don't do shit. No way, bro. I mean, we used to do it all the time, me and... Well... Hey, Josh, no hot water's kind of major oversight, don't you think? Yeah. Yeah, you just gotta fire up the boiler. It's in the basement. All right, you guys see if you can find the spirit board. Chris, let's go find it. It'll be like a scavenger hunt. Um, okay. Guess so. Brad, I mean, you're not gonna regret it. You up for a ride along? Notice how I gave Chris and Ash a mission together? Yeah, I was thinking they could use some alone time. They are very sweet together. I wish they'd just freaking get on with it already. I swear, they just need, like, something to bond over. You know, some sort of traumatic event to send them into each other's arms. I mean, at this rate, they'll be in the geriatric ward before Chris makes a move. <laughs> Sam. Yes, Josh. I just wanted to say. Uh, what? It really means a lot to me that everyone came back this year, and you know that you came, Sam. Josh, we're here for you. Really, whatever you need, whenever, we're all gonna make it through this together. Um. I want us to have a good time, you know? Hey, watch your step. I think I can handle a little old set of stairs. Mm -hmm. Sorry to drag you down into the bow. Oh, just get me some hot water and I'll be super fine. I mean, I wouldn't want you coming down here on your own, you know? Well, it's definitely creepy down here. Yep. Not a place to be on your own. What's that doing here? Is that yours? You bet it's mine. I used to play ball with my dad all the time. Of course, that was before he got too busy to hang out with me. Ah, well, save it for the couch, right? Okay, let me see what I can do with this old hot water machine. Here, can you? Can you hold this? 
was that? What was what? Just shine it here so I can see what I'm doing. Hey, can you just keep the light so I can see, okay? Nice one. Okay, first things first. We gotta increase the water pressure before we get the boiler fired up. Mm, sounds kinda complicated. No, it's actually pretty simple. Just try again. Oh. That's more like it. <laughs> All right. Five, girl. about to burst or some problem with the furnace. Unlikely. If it were me, I wouldn't want this place to burn down in my watch. Yeah, right. Was I not supposed to take advantage of the opportunity? Are you... are you serious? Were you in on this, putz? <laughs> no, but I, I wish I was. That was too good. I'm ready to admit that your dumb little prank may have a slight whiff of humor. Joke master! Well, I, I said nothing about jokes. I said your prank. Which was dumb. Holy crap, you were scared, admit it. I was not! Come on, you totally pissed yourself. Josh! What in God's name are you wearing? I found my true calling. Mm -hmm. Please tell me you're gonna take a vow of silence. <laughs> okay, okay, did you at least find the thingy? Oh, 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 oh. 
Here's our one-way ticket to the spirit realm. You know what? You know what? No, no. I've just been through enough spooking for one night, okay? I see a hot bath in my crystal ball. Mm. All right? So have fun. Oh, but watch out for that, Josh. He's a schemer. Okay. like to understand your feelings toward people who fear the supernatural, ghosts, spirits, and other intangible forces beyond the veil. Do you share this fear? And how do you feel about people who are afraid? Well, Mike has a fear of isolation. Do you feel pity for him? Indeed, that is apparent from the choices you made. investigate your feelings toward other people in greater depth. What you value, what you respect in yourself and others. Which would you say was most important in a person, loyalty or honesty? So you would tell a lie in order to be loyal to a friend, okay. And what about loyalty versus charity? <laughs> so you would sooner look after your friends before caring for those in greater need? Well, once again, I'm afraid we're out of time. We'll talk again soon.